Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina and today we're gonna to be doing your weekly tarot. This is gonna be for the upcoming August 9th to the 15th. All right, you guys, I will go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I'm gonna lay your cards down and then I will put up a photo as well for you guys to see what we pull here. These are intuitive readings, so I'm gonna shuffle here on camera with you guys. This way I can tune into your energy and we'll jump right into it. All right, a few more shuffles here and then we'll get right into it. All right, Cancer, August 9th to the 15th. Let's see what's happening. Two more. One more. There we go. The situation. Ooh. What is challenging you? What's on your mind? Where's your head at? What's your approach? External influences. And then the near future outcome. We're going to pull another card for sure very soon. Um, there's a little stress this week, and it's definitely connected to your environment. Um, but the situation right now is the Ace of Swords. I think you're needing, um, you need a clear answer in your head. I feel like there's a lot of mental confusion right now this week. Um, there's been a betrayal here. There's been a painful ending here, and it's definitely in your environment. Um, I don't know if it's work. I don't know if it's people, um, but you'll know what that means. And the Ace of Swords is challenging you because I think you need more information. You need to gather some information because you have the Page of Swords. It's a little spy, right? But it's a discoverer. It's a person who gets the facts, who cuts to the heart of it and gets the information that they need. They discover it, right? They're gathering info. And I feel like you need a little bit more information here before you can know for sure what you need to do when it comes to the situation. I don't feel like you have a clear solution right now. I don't think you have a clear plan. But... Let me go ahead and um, pull another card here because we do have a lot of swords. We got you a little stressed out this week with the um, nine of swords here. So let's see here. But yeah, the ten of swords is in your environment, you guys. So, so there's a painful ending here. There's a little betrayal in a sense. Um, it doesn't have to be, but it feels like it. It feels like it. All right, let me pull another card. Let's go a little bit deeper and see what's happening, Cancer. A few more shuffles. A few more shuffles here. Yeah, you just, you don't know what to do yet. You don't have that, that sure answer in your head. You don't have the sure answer in your head. Sure, you're thinking about different things, different approaches to take, how to handle it, but you're not 100% yet. You're not 100. Okay, two more. One more. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, Cancer. There was some deception here. It's totally connected to your environment. Okay, first of all, it, it's connected to your environment. I'm gonna start with your environment actually, because first we had the 10 of swords, the 10 of swords there. And then clarifying that is the seven of swords. It's this hidden dishonor, something behind your back. Somebody was in straight up honest with you. Somebody was deceiving you. They weren't giving, they weren't telling you everything they knew. Something that just, you lost trust here. Trust was lost here. Now you just keep playing it in your head this week. You're, you're losing some sleep this week. I'm sorry, Cancer. Because even with your approach right now, you're feeling trapped. You're feeling trapped right now. Um, you're feeling trapped. I feel like you may have thought of a way out before and then the tower came down and was like, no, honey. Because at the center of the reading, we had the Ace of Swords. So maybe you did have that mental clarity, but clarifying it is a tower. And whatever you thought you were going to do, whatever you thought was the truth, it's not. It's not it. And I feel like that's why you're feeling trapped right now. You may have had a solution before. You may have had a way out of the situation. But then the tower came in to say, nope, cancer, that's not the way. And it just it shook you a little bit. This shook you a little bit. There's some family here because we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, if it's not family, it's career, but I, I, it feels like family a little bit for me. But yeah, you, you, you thought you had it figured out. And then the tower came in and I don't know what you learned, but it changed it for you. Whatever you were thinking, you're not thinking it right now. And that's causing you really to feel trapped. You're feeling trapped right now. You feel trapped by your circumstances. You're not seeing a way out. Um, Seeing these energies in your approach, first I'll say this, um, if you have somebody to talk to, it's, it's a good idea to reach out. 
just to like get it off your head because this is, these, these aren't going to help you. They're going to stop you from progressing. Not to say that you, everybody gets here, right? Just try not to stay here because with this card, um, she's trapped by her circumstances. She's also given her power away, right? Because she's a little powerless here. And then this one is just like those regrets, those fears, just thinking about everything that's happened, man. And it's just keeping you up at night. I'm sure it's on your mind throughout the day as well. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's affecting your day to day here. Um, but yeah, you thought you had something figured out and you don't. Something came through that just shook it. And you're like, oh my God, that's not how I'm going to have to deal with this. And now you're just like, I don't know what I can do. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this. Um, but we're going to talk about the oncoming energy because it actually ends super well for you guys. But yeah, you're challenged because it looks like you need to get some more information. Um, you got the seven of cups here. So not everything is as it seems. And that's why you got to get some more information. I don't think you have all the info. I don't think you have all the facts. First of all, we never do. Let's be honest. But these energies being present here, it means that there is more information for you to get. It's available to you. Try to like, you know, do your research, try to have the conversations you can with the people that you can at least trust because it's, you know, it's, it's here. There's some confusion around what you want, what you really want, what are your real wishes? What are your real desires? Some tower came down. So it's fair. You know, once that comes down, you got to question a lot of things. You guys, you got to question a lot of things, but it's like, yeah, there's somebody, there's some a body that's really important to you. If not more than one, that's just like. It was a painful ending. It doesn't have to be, um, like when I say a painful ending, it's not necessarily always a goodbye. It's just that like, you know, that things are never going to be the same again. And that's hurting you. That's hurting you right now. Um, but we got a lot of swords. We got a lot of swords energy here. So it's just a lot of like, there's a lot of mental energy. It's a lot of mental energy. And the tower just took down whatever clear path you thought you had. You thought you were going to be super victorious in some tower. Something came down and was like, no cancer. But make no mistake, it's a favor from the universe. Maybe you, maybe that you thought was going to be super successful probably wasn't going to be. And like divine intervention steps in and is like, nah, cancer, don't worry. We got you. I know you can't see it right now. And I know this week you're definitely not seeing it. You're definitely not seeing it this week. Um, you're even ready. You're ready to take bold action. You're ready in your mind to take bold action. Like, I feel like nothing will stop you to get what you want to get this 10 of pentacles. That's what's on your mind. We got the king of wands and the 10 of pentacles for some of you it can be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but it's you, you in your head, just saying nothing is going to stop me. I will do what I need. Not in, um, not in a dishonorable way, not in a way that like you're going to let ends justify means. No, but you'll be brave. You'll do like brave stuff to get this 10 of pentacles. It's very important to you. It's very important to you. And that's why you're just feeling trapped. Now, that being said, let's talk about the oncoming energy and what's coming towards you. I think you're going to get a really sweet message. I think after all of this, there's a super sweet message coming your way, guys. We have the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. King of Cups can be a water sign, you know, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but it's a person who can relate to you. Absolutely. You're going to feel understood. You're going to feel seen. It's a person who knows how to keep calm when things are really like hot and heavy and a little out of hand and emotions are running high. He's like master of his emotions. He knows how to remain turbulent. He knows how to make really good decisions with head and with heart. And then we have this guy here, the Knight of Cups. He's got that open heart, but I feel it's a sweet message coming your way. And I feel like this King of Cups is also another person coming your way. I think you're going to get some emotional support after all of this. I think you're going to be a little bit surprised by the sweetness of a message that comes your way. I think it's going to lighten up your heart a little bit and take some swords out of your head, you guys. Um, but the end of the week and oncoming energy is looking a lot more stable when it comes to your emotions. And it looks like you're going to get some emotional support coming your way. These are trustworthy energies. They're really positive and they come here offering their cups of love. They're offering their cups of love and they're offering it to you. I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Of course, if anything resonates, please leave comments. I love to read those like and subscribe you guys. And thank you very much for letting me tune into your energy. I'll see you guys next week.